Hello everybody, it's, um, it's like July 24th, 25th. I am about a mile offshore, and as I said, I'm paddling out to find right on top of the capped oil well by Phillips Petroleum. And sure enough, you know, out past the second yellow stick, and I'll provide some other detail on the map, there is a heavy oil sheen. And as I'm sitting, and I will show you where the GPS, where I dropped the pins. I'm sitting right on top of the pin of where I um, suspect is the leaking uh, abandoned oil well um, that was capped in 1958 or 1960, almost 50 years ago. Today is 2019. Um, I am, you can see that that's the Redondo power plant. The brake wall is right there. Hermosa Beach Pier is right there. You can possibly see the first stick in the distance, but that is the second stick, which is about a mile out. And I don't know the exact distance, but, um, and as I suspected, you know, fellow paddlers, we paddle out to the R10 all the time, which is right out here. And as you intersect this with Hermosa Beach, you always run into this sheen of oil. Always. I mean, it's guaranteed. Today, the wind, happens to be coming out of this direction in a, as a possible current. So as I'm drifting, I'm drifting back towards um, kind of the Avenue C, Avenue I area of Redondo and kind of the pier. So I would expect, suspect that all this oil you're seeing coming up out of the, wall, out of the ground um, is drifting in that direction. Um, that we've had a lot of oil in Hermosa and Manhattan Beach over the last um, couple of weeks, and the wind direction has been in this area, in this in this direction for the most part. And so, as I suspect, as the wind has shifted to this direction, the oil is going to be here. Here's a here's a good patch as I come up, drifting upon it. Um, a couple of paddlers out there as well, enjoying going out to the third stick. Um, I'm going to mark this on the map so you can kind of all paddle out and see where this location is. You can see the heavy oil sheen here across the water. And if you paddle a lot in the water, you can see where the oil sheen starts and stops just by the surface of the, just by the smoothness of the surface. You see where the wind kind of chops up there? That's probably where the oil sheen ends. And this, this whole area here is a heavy oil sheen. Um, and uh, 